Hi right there guys, Sam here. You joined me in front of, well, what looks like a GT3 RS, but there's a big story about this one. Oh, that is... <laughs> oh my God. Mm. You, li literally all the space. I'm a huge Porsche fan, massive car enthusiast, and this would fool me sort of any day of the week. Let's go through this car, see if you can spot any of the differences. It's essentially 991.1 GT3 RS. That's what you'd think. Nice 20 inch wheels, decent sized brakes, everything about it. Screams GT3 RS, because it's such a special car. You get that huge wing. I mean, look at that. Proper race car, flat six. But I'll be honest with you, this is actually a 2.7 litre Boxster with a kit conversion to look like a GT3 RS. So this is man cave heaven, this basically. Is man cave. Oh, so you really get a good look at the engine. 3.4s. 3.4s. So it's about 300 brake, I think. Sticking with the manual, I'm I'm happy with that. Basically, exactly the same car, but um, just a bigger engine. I think. Is is that um, the new brakes you put on there, yeah, or is that yeah. for Transport 4s? Is I basically build the whole car first, do everything, wiring, grills, the lot, take it all apart again, paint it, and then um, I just put it all back together like a big Lego. So. <laughs> yeah, giant. I forgot to tell you about this. I've got these on the other car. Okay. But basically, because this these cars have camber systems when you put the new lights on obviously you're using the original wiring loom if you don't have these these are CAN bus error cancellers they stop the errors coming up on the dashboard okay because for certain so, because so, like there's a lot more leds on the real 911s than yeah. the boxsters and you have to have things like resistors in here to slow down the indicator flash because the indicators are leds and oh. stuff like that there's a lot that goes into all that. the little things you've got yeah. to think about you still get that noise you still get that porsche build quality now now the owner has done so many little things to this car. So the owner fitted a big brake kit as well to the car. That little bit more dance with the 20 inch wheels. So you've got Michelin Pilot Super Sport tyres as well. Slightly larger at the front as well to kind of help out. Inside, it's a Porsche Boxster essentially, but 911 dials. Looks exactly like a 911, which is great. Manual gearbox. I'm an enthusiast who's sort of like, oh, you know, we're gonna lose the six speed manual one day. Obviously the GT3 RS didn't, it had a PDK. So you get that sort of more engagement with the car mid engine rather than rear engine just going on like the short drive sounds good goes good and gee does it attract attention you know you would not see one of these sort of driving on the road at all you just don't they're locked up away in your garage this owner's kind of daily it as well it's on 41,000 41,194 miles they've done like 4,000 miles a year had it sort of like two years it's just something that you just don't see someone who's put the full effort into it worked so hard to like kind of get the dash all kind of sorted you got people all kind of around looking at this car I'm not gonna lie it's uh, quite full on <laughs> the back because it was a boxster you can see like the roll cage sort of there well the roll over hoop so obviously that just protects for the uh, strengthening because the roof above us is just like fiberglass so that's not like the strengthening part i do wonder the amount of man hours that's gone into this car now the owner has rebuilt other cars in the past such as like ferraris did an mr2 to a ferrari conversion and i think he said he it was about 400 man hours. I'm not too sure how much has gone into this one, but quite a lot. And there's always little things to kind of like tinker and kind of improve. So like, this is like a different steering wheel, PDK, but obviously it's not PDK. The car recently passed its MOT, which was great. Usual stuff, so you can obviously drive on the road. You get your free pedals, manual gearbox, all this stuff. It's actually just part of the Boxster. Kind of shows how good it is. You get a little bit more of a gap there for a bit of space. You can see the rear wing just behind you. The seats are actually really comfortable. And that was the one thing actually driving around in it. Even though it looks like a GT3 RS, it's not. You have something in the front and I'll pull it in for like um, the air ride suspension because otherwise the front splitter will just catch. So the owner's fitted that as well. And yeah, just from a, a case of a button and yeah, you avoid it's scraping. It's definitely yeah. not yeah. straightforward. So yeah, done the air ride oh, again on this. <laughs> exactly the Dying same. It up. So that all works. Well, that was really, I mean, I've seen some systems which are just, yeah. You, that was just like, you had no hesitation, yeah. up, down. Just... You can change how fast it goes up and down as well as a little setting. So <laughs> all the lights are ready to go, the wires. Oh, so you've got the wiring looms. Yeah. You know, I have to make all of this. This is all handmade. You get these connectors with the kit, but yeah, and I have to do all the wiring. And on the box, the headlights, the, ind the front indicators are built into the headlight, whereas the indicators on here are in these lights. So you have to separate wires and re 
basically do it. Rear windscreen, ready yeah. to go. Yeah. I love the dials because that's just classic 911 for me. That kind of really does make it 911 like. You get more of that sort of like naturally aspirated kind of feel, which is just so exciting for me because it's just it's just not going to be here anymore. This car's had a complete body respray as well, so it's not like they half assed this. This is a full nuts and bolts, done every little bit to get it to work. And I think with the owner Paul's kind of experience, they're only getting better and better. It doesn't sound like he's gonna stop with kind of building these cars and making it look even nicer, which is great to know. But I wanna stand outside a bit more. I've always loved with a GT3 RS, the little things here, like the little vents there. It's got two radiators on the front and all of the grills actually do the job. So they're actually doing something to work. They're not necessarily just there for show. Get the Porsche bad. Oh my God, just every part of it is just like super exciting. Porsche lights from sort of the 991, not cheap, expensive stuff to kind of get all these things kind of fitted. The end result is pretty clear. It looks exactly like a GT3 RS, you know, I'd be fooled. So in terms of like the paint, is that like your last much, step? Yeah. And then yeah. you're just putting stuff together yeah. which you That's know how it's all bit. going yeah, yeah. to go. The no Actually, surprises then. You're so familiar with it all. Yeah, yeah. And then each time you can just like almost improve that 1%. Yeah, there's That's things it. I'm doing on this. So I'm putting real proper mirrors on this one. Ah, oh, okay. So they are real on the other one, but all they are is the shell. And then what I did is I took the Boxster motor and mounted it in there to make the glass turn. But this is all in cut holes in the door and this mounts like the real mirror does now. Connections for the motors. So <laughs> that just connects up to the box of the loom. I can't believe looking at a completely bare shell. That is incredible. Yeah. It's just amazing how they, I mean, actually to be fair, it shows how Porsche, they really do compact everything yeah. in. Well, the things that people will never see. <laughs> so yeah, the roof. So is it literally, so I mean, how, how does that, how does well, that that's work? that's just one, you can Look. see that's one piece. And that's one piece and it just all bolts and glues together. Just nice lightweight material and yeah, yeah. It's, it's done the job. But then like you said before, it's not it's not set necessarily gonna protect Hence it, if you keep, the rock you keep that and then you, you've got no problem as well. You've got the other one through an MOT, so there's no reason why this one wouldn't be. The rear as well, so you've got here, this is actually important as well to actually cool the engine because it's a mid-engine car. You actually generally need these kind of things. Big brake kit as well, that's important. I mean, okay, it's a 250 odd horsepower car, but you need that to fill the wheels and kind of give the, the looks of the car in the right kind of way. The wing, <laughs> as well i mean look at the size of that just the whole look of the free rs they did such a great job with the wide body and you can just see how it sticks out a little bit more there let's say like a box that would kind of end there this kind of has like kind of like the wide hips just last little bit inside before i go a bit more on the outside you've literally everything works because it's porsche built so well like the original donor car for this was a really solid well looked after low mileage example so you've got a good base to start from are you definitely like get the donor car right is the yeah. key because you wouldn't want to be doing all of this and then you find yeah that yeah got... i mean okay if it ever needs a new engine well we've got to give it put a new engine yeah. in. you know the whole ims bearing issues with porsches as well i mean it's it's you go on the internet you're only ever going to hear bad things so yeah i think you've got to take your chances really oh yeah you, you have to kind of take yeah. the plunge it's yeah. never going to be straightforward it's definitely yeah. never going to if i think if someone saw a car like this they would run away wouldn't yeah, they because yeah. they're just like oh yeah this is not what i would expect from my porsche how many miles is this s done 35 again okay so you you like getting it at that because then it's sort of like it's mm. properly run in hasn't yeah. got any mysteries it's not so low yeah. that it's just there's a point where i mean people will not spend as much as i do on the boxsters but like but, i said because it's my daily car but i think as well you're probably doing it the right way because it's not like people will sometimes look at the cheapest car and think oh i can get into this at this point yeah but yeah. you're better off spending a bit more yeah knowing that it's right knowing that maybe if it's like a one owner or a two yeah. owner or something like that and you probably will actually save money <laughs> well, by yeah. spending money. Yeah. It's um, that that's how that's always my man maths and logic. But well, I mean, I wouldn't want. I mean, you know, in theory, you could buy a Cat C one. Yeah, know, that, that's bit, yeah for cheap because you don't need any of the body really. So, but I mean, I just don't like the idea all, of that. All yours are clean. They're not. Yeah, because yeah, I suppose then if someone else's it. dodgy welds or yeah, some. Yeah, exactly. And also, yeah, if you ever then want to sell it when it's done, you still got to say it's a Cat yeah. C, don't you? So here's the wing. There's the owner's uh, YouTube channel. 
channel i'll check that out i mean look at that you can actually like sort of eat your dinner off that it's that good the exhaust is quite simple as well because obviously the boxster actually has center pipes anyway so this is just slightly more extended and then the owner has done something just to make it sound a little bit louder but not too droney i think from lessons learned from previous builds a few of the mesh grills all sort of high and done by the owner people buy these things for the looks they don't necessarily buy them to take them on track and drive them in the way that it should be they're basically garage queens these cars these days something i don't think we'll ever get to kind of see again i haven't seen someone do something like this at all and it just came up sort of like on my youtube feed and i'm so grateful that paul actually has allowed me to kind of come down and kind of share the car just look at it i mean that is a gt3 rs isn't it it is no getting away from it for me it just looks the part there's no sort of bits where you'd sort of say like oh yeah it's sort of missing this it's missing that it's not it's nice and low it is a porsche got an mot got that wide stance this was all done by the owner as well sort of like the mesh grills all the bits inside to get it to be what it is i'll leave information actually as well because sadly paul um, lost his father to cancer last year my well a very close family friend of mine who i'm visiting quite often as well is sadly suffering from cancer as well and that's something that i'd like to get a message out here as well you know i know i share lots of things about cars and amazing Amazing cars that I'm touching and feeling here like this one I'm gonna leave as much information as I can in sort of like the description just to raise a bit of awareness because there is stuff you can do to hopefully get things found out earlier and, and that's one of the main things I kind of want to push so do check that out and do do something as part of the end of this video you know promise me promise me you'll check something promise me you'll just read something and you'll get some research and some understanding of it because that'll be a big part of hopefully helping people and that's kind of all I really want to do well it's, it's stunning mate I mean seriously Seriously, yeah. You share kind of pretty much daily, don't you? So follow yeah. full. I've already, I've already, <laughs> oh pl I've already plugged, I've, I've plugged you before. <laughs> Seriously, man, this is like, yeah, and it's kind I've of. Just got to get on with it now, and finish it. Haven't I? Get on, <laughs> get stuck in with it. I mean, you've got one that's fully done over there, and well, I mean, that's the beauty. have you got any bits that you want to do on the white one? Uh, or, or is it just always little kind of I'm, stuff. What with kit cars, they're never entirely finished. Yeah, and with them because they're not like real cars. You do have to stay on top of things, like in terms of you know, might need to replace rubber seals on something because they come unstuck yep. and things like that so with the ferrari i sold it to a friend he can do diy and he can I know the he basic can bits yeah. to yeah just to keep it going because you know some some cars get built and then they sell them and then you know people just use them and goes run in, them into the ground goes into a black hole a yeah, little bit yeah, isn't yeah. it so i'd like them to go to a good home yes so, yeah. yes Especially that ferrari because me and dad built that yeah um, exactly and, and so. that's what it means more to than just a, a shell isn't it that's the thing that's why i always think about cars as well and people work quite hard as well monday to friday nine to five sometimes this is literally can be like your life your hobby everything well, yeah, and, that, hobby. and the community is great to kind of i'm sure you can find little bits if something's yeah. not right and you get it right i'm lost for words man <laughs> <laughs> just absolutely lost for words of this this is like this is brilliant because that's the thing about cars yeah. isn't it? it's about the fun and yeah. the enjoyment you've got the manual got the flat six that's not what you want no <laughs> we don't want the teslas i know him he's a nice oh, guy but yeah nice, but... <laughs> uh, so, so if, would you have the air ride up high at the moment or is no it still... so no. even over those bumps yeah it's all right over them how does it actually drive like just normal just like a normal boxster yeah hugely upgraded brakes from a boxster yeah for no need yeah. just to look nice <laughs> but they do the job I've heard 
one thing that makes me really happy about Porsche stuff is because I'm such a big fan of like the community. The Porsche community is something I'd like to get into a lot more. And you know, I'd, I'm not gonna lie, dream to own a Porsche. I'm standing next to a Porsche GT3 RS, give or take. It's a dream for so, so many. You don't necessarily need a couple of hundred thousand pounds to get one. Use your intuition. You do something like Paul does, put some effort into it. It takes experience, it takes everything, know-how to kind of get to this kind of level. And even like manuals are dying now as well. So yeah. I'm just super happy <laughs> to be there properly. <laughs> and so so the standard 2.7 Boxster, yeah. so you're talking 265? No, I reckon it's more like 240. 240, yeah. okay. So um... they're not they're not that heavy though. a funny story Go for so it. when I built this car um, you need the wheels really when you've got the kit because you yeah. want to make sure it lines up anyway so I bought the wheels but I didn't buy the tires I just bought part warns right just to ah, get it on the road gotcha. and then and the ones at the front were not as high I was like oh I should get on maybe I'll get some bigger ones but you have to be a bit careful because this box star the biggest wheels you could get on there were 19s like standard so there's not that much room in the wheel arches if you see what I mean I know it's new arches, but I'm talking about like the, the chassis. Yeah. So you can't have massive wheels on there because they hit the chassis, like massive oh, tires. Oh, gotcha. So you have to be a bit careful. Anyway, so I went a bit safe and went with the smaller ones at the front. And it just didn't look quite right. Um, and then a friend of mine who's built one, he's like, yeah, wider ones on there. He goes, they're all right, Paul. And I needed to get new tires. So then I bought the tires, the bigger ones, all good. But then when the guy turned up to fit them, quick fit, he was, um, he was like, I'm not putting them on this car. And I was like, why not? He goes, well, this is a super duper racing <laughs> car and they're not the exact tyres of this car. Uh, and I was like, mate, come on. And he wouldn't have it for five minutes. <laughs> and I was like, mate, it's a flipping kit car. It's made out of screws and bolts. Just put them on, please. <laughs> Oh, you don't crash into me! 
people just looking alike. Certainly, if I say the main points that for me, A, it's built to a way where it, you, even like someone really nitpicking quite for a bit yeah. outside, wouldn't be able to tell. Engine, flat six, Porsche. Yeah. That makes Porsche built anyway, so it works. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't like a car that is likely to be broken down. In front of, you know, it's just, oh, it's you just, jinxed it now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, let's let's hope I haven't yeah. jinxed it. No, he had a, he had MO, he passed the MOT yeah. last week Which and a major nice. service uh, about 200 miles ago. A lot of people ask me about getting to the engine because yeah. now it's got a roof. The guys, so you, you there's two panels there. There's one behind yeah. our seats and then there's one on the top. Um, they need to get to both panels, but I just take you know the Bose speaker out of the top, yeah. take the carpet off, and they can get to it. Um, they actually said it's actually easier in some ways to work than a normal box. That, with a normal box, you've got the roof in the way ah. and you sort of have it halfway up. So, I mean, if you were going to do a major engine work, you'd drop the engine out anyway from the bottom. Yes. But no, the, the boys, um, I mean, it does hurt their backs when they get in there, but um, uh, no, they're, uh, they love doing it. But yeah, it's not, um, it's not restrictive. Yeah, really. exactly. <gasps> Oh no, the Tesco delivery's here. Right. Reconvene. You can help me take it in because yeah. Jules will. Um... <laughs> no, no, seriously, that's because Jules. <laughs> that's <laughs> my, that's my job. <laughs> Check the owner out on his YouTube channel because he's going to be sharing this going forward and he's going to be sharing more fields as well in the future. <laughs> Ha ha ha.